My name is Captain Chaston Whitfield. I love fishing so much that I want everyone to experience it regardless of their perceived limitations. So it's my mission in life to share the sport with people who have unique challenges. Keep going, keep going, keep going. High five. Good job. All right, let's do that again. Dude, you caught a grouper. And show them that fishing has no boundaries. The legacy of women anglers extends three generations in the Kelly family. So let's go get a glimpse of the small family competition that we have. Today I'm taking my mom and my grandma fishing. I call my grandma Mom Mom. So Mom Mom's mom taught her how to fish and Mom Mom taught my mom how to fish and then my mom taught me how to fish. So we're gonna do a little three generation girl fishing trip, a little friendly competition. So, Mom, hop on. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm pretty good. It's a beautiful day for me to catch all the fish. Yeah, we'll see. All right, so we gotta go get Mom on. All right, so now we're at Mom Mom's house and we are picking her up. Hi. Oh, open the bail. Reel, reel, reel! There we go! There we go! Let me put it in neutral. There we go! Oh, it might be a keeper! Hold on! Hold on! Okay, don't freak out! We thought you should get away with not cooking for my birthday. Oh, dang. All right, the biggest net. Might as well, right? Ooh! Hey, my don't goodness. Get excited now. We gotta get him in the net. I knew I saw a big thing on the bottom of it. Oh my goodness. Come on. Yes! Woo! Yay! Look. Doesn't it look prehistoric? It looks like a legit dinosaur. You know why they call them triple tail, right? Uh, they got uno, dos, tres tails. Triple tail. That guy's just waiting. Okay, so I cast it out. Uh huh. It wasn't a very good cast, but. It worked. He didn't mind. No. And I saw two, It one of them, almost look albino, like you know, White. the whiter. And I saw two of them coming out. They almost looked like they were racing to get it. And then, I, I mean, it was instant. I didn't see it. I was still- Oh, I saw all of it. You were you were like baiting. I was like, okay, let me back up. And you're like, I got it. I'm like, what? And my mom just said, I haven't even caught a triple tail. This is what one looks like. <laughs> Here you go, you want to touch it? Yep. <laughs> they got like a weird like fat head. Yeah. Like some fish, like they kind of look like snapper almost, but they're like a square head. It's weird. So we're gonna let this guy, let him, what do we say? Let him go and let him grow. Let him go, let him grow. Today was amazing. Uh, we had a little cold front come through, so I was really nervous about the fish and if it shook it up a little bit. It shook bait up quite a bit. I didn't get as much as I wanted, but we took those lemons and we made lemonade with some triple tail on the side. So we're gonna be eating good tonight. <laughs> I picked up my grandma, my mom, and my mom, 
and we went out. Our plan was to go in shore, maybe catch some trout, snook, redfish on the docks, um, head shrimp too, just in case, and maybe snapper. But as soon as I peeked the corner and looked out and saw the Gulf, it was the Lake of Mexico, not the Gulf of Mexico, and we sent it straight out there. I, we, I couldn't help it, it just, kind of something took over my body and said go. So I went and the first buoy we pulled up to, boom, triple tail, boom, triple, it was amazing. During winter time, the tides, we get crazy low tides. So it's one big low tide, one big outgoing tide all day. And the wind usually is pretty high. It's blowing like 10 to 15, but today it said five to 10, but it didn't even blow out there. We were sweating. And I'm not complaining, it was amazing because it was flat. No waves, there's only boat waves and it was so nice out there. So considering it being a winter low tide and bait was tough, I think we killed it. <laughs> Gosh, I love triple tail fishing. It's so much fun. Hammer the buoy. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I'm getting. Wow. Oh, wait, what happened? Shh. Sorry. I'm talking to him. Hold on. He's not ready yet. There he is. There he is. Oh, he hit it. He hit it. He hit it. Swallow 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 it. And hook set. Oh, why is mine the smaller one? <laughs> ready? One, two, three, four, dance. Yes. <laughs> Aww. I don't usually catch fish, oh, but when so I do, sweet. it's a small one. Oh, <laughs> stop, chill. Oh my goodness, how do I hold them? Carefully, no. it's a baby. <laughs> so we're not, the hook popped out. So we're not gonna measure him. I, I, w I could hide my, tuck my fingers under it, but I can't to make it look bigger. Floor to push. Oh wow, the tail has like a, it's like a frosted tips. All right, little dude, thank you. Ah! Coming up on Their Life, My Lens, Chaston's mom shares the motivating drive behind the family tradition. So having three generations on the boat today was pretty amazing. It is definitely one of those moments that I will never forget, and I know that Chastin won't either. There aren't that many people that can say that their mom taught them how to fish and their grandma taught them how to fish. So for me, that was pretty cool. We, we really, we have not done that in a long time. But it is one of those moments that I'm definitely gonna remember forever, and I know that Chastin will too. And that's, that's, that's what this whole thing should be about. Everybody should be working on leaving their legacy. What is your legacy? My mom left her legacy. She's leaving her legacy. It is my job to leave a legacy in my children and I'm gonna teach them to do what's right. I'm gonna teach them when nobody else is doing what's right in this world, when it, and it's so hard to teach your kids to do what's right, you have to still do that. You have to. Reel it, reel it, pull it, pull it, pull it. Pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it, pull it. This way, this way. Oh, where is he going? Keep reeling, keep reeling. Oh, he's right there. We're gonna try and flip him in. Ready? Give him one more crank. All right, that's good. And then boing. 
Hey, my nails almost match him. Nails are brown and he's brown. Look at his tail. <laughs> he's got frosted tips again. Here you go, Mom. Mom, this one's yours. There you go. Woohoo! Manhandle. She's like, I got it. Oh, just kidding. There he goes. As far as fishing is concerned, it's meant, it's meant everything. It's, that's what we do. We fish. We have done this since both children were babies. Um, literally babies. I was water skiing when I was pregnant with Cappy. Um, but fishing is crabbing, shrimp, everything that we've done, we're still doing. We spent a lot of time in the Keys and that made us feel like a really close family. My mom and dad were there and Cappy and, Ch not Chaz, she wasn't here yet, Cappy and Clark, my husband Sam. We we lived for fishing. That's what we did every single weekend. We went fishing. And we caught lots of fish, and I've got pictures of all of them still. Um, since the kids were really little, um, we've had a boat. We've had nine, nine different boats. Um, so we, uh, we've always lived on the water. It's not big, beautiful water, just canals that we could get out. Into the, into the Gulf and um, intercoastal. And we would go every weekend, and sometimes even during the week. We have big thunderstorms in the afternoon, and we would wait out on the patio until the storm passed. And then we would pile in the boat and go out fishing. And it was a perfect time, because it was always really calm, and really pretty after after we after we watched the storm pass. Can't tell you how many dinners we ate in the boat, how many breakfasts we ate in the boat. Sometimes breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, we we were just in it all the time. Chaston's grandmother explains how her family is building on a legacy, one image at a time. Next, on Their Life, My Lands. <laughs> oh my gosh. Real. Kick his butt. Okay. <laughs> Maybe not. He heard me say that. Alright, keep reeling. You want at him? Nope. Okay. <laughs> oh, if this is not 18. Wow. If this is oh not 18. Oh my gosh. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright, mommy. This is not a next one. Oh. This is the this is for the oh, Oh, right, he's a head. beauty. One more give crank, me his head. One more crank. You give got me his it. Head. You got it. Oh, oh, he's, he's holding, holding that. that. Hold on. Oh, don't right, touch the boat. Wait, wait. Stop, he's stop, not done. Stop reeling for a second. He's not done. Oh, he's done. No, he's done. He's done. Oh, he's done. Oh, he's done. oh my oh, gosh. Oh, wow. That. <laughs> Good job, Mama. Oh my goodness! Wow. Oh, I'm the queen. I'm the queen. He's gonna, He's gonna be heavy. Oh, look at the sun coming up at the tail. So, how'd it feel fighting the triple tail? Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> and you've never caught one? Yeah, not a triple tail. Wow. No. Nope. Nope. He's That's heavy. Awesome. A little bit. Do you want me to take him? He's oh, right. You got it. You got it. Looks like a grouper. <laughs> <laughs> the colors are just like a grouper, and the face yep. is very fat. Yep. It's got a fat face. He's got eyes like a frog. <laughs> he does. So good oh. job getting him off the boat like that. Yeah. Because he was trying to get you under the boat. Good shuffling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So this is a keeper triple tail. They have to be 18, and this guy is 
pretty much 19, almost 19. So, <laughs> so he's going in the well. My great grandmother was our first fisherman. She was a fisherwoman. She was, um, she's not in those pictures. Uh, my grandmother is, and my mother, and Cappy, and Chaston, and that's all. Those are, the, those are the Chaston women, and there's four others that are in Texas. Um, but we, what we did is because my grandmother had passed when we put these together, we took pictures of each one of the kids and my grandmother and my mother and myself. And we had a photographer put them all together as though we were all taking a, a portrait together. Um, and that's what, I have that in my, in my front living room at the entrance. And it brings back, uh-oh, <laughs> it brings back really good memories. <laughs> Um, so, anyway, fishing is everything, and it is for my kids, too. When we return to Their Life, My Lens, Chaston applies what she learned to the well, outdoors. College, didn't it? Yeah. I thought you had a... Yeah. Their Life, My Lens is brought to you by Mercury Marine. Go boldly. No, I can do it, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, see, there's another one. Come up, I need to control you. Okay, um, we're coming to this side. I'm gonna make him come to this side. Oh, there's another one, following yours. I told you. Ah, oh, this, oh. How do, the, the bass do, how do they do that? Yay! I knew he was still there. Oh, he's jumping. Oh, wait, let me get, he's confused. He thinks he's a snook. I need his head, I need his head. Got his head. Oh. Wow. Oh my God. They're, they're twins. Woo. No, that one's fatter. Oh, that doesn't matter. It's fine. Oh. Look at, he's big. Oh, oh my goodness. Say it again, Mama. What'd you say? Nothing. Thank you. Nothing. Hey. Yeah, she said nothing. Mom, good job. <laughs> uh. oh. So I just did a full bass move right there. <laughs> so the pros in bass fishing, they're, they're fishing by themselves. So they have to catch the fish and then net the fish. And I just did that with a triple tail. That's why you went to college, didn't it? Yeah. You thought you had a... Yeah, look, I learned something from college. There Here we go. I knew it was in the waist. Listening to my grandmother tell her stories of her sisters and her mother and their fishing adventures when she was my age is just so much fun. Leaving a legacy is something that my mom has instilled in all of us, and it doesn't have to be legacy of fishing. A true family legacy includes the values and passions that fuel your family. Whoa! If this is oh not my gosh! <laughs> it's told through family stories, how you live out your family values on a daily basis. Each generation can adopt and add to the family legacy each year, something that will make an impact that will last long after you're gone. probably pop up going, hey, you asked, I gave. I personally added conservation as well as commercial fishing to our legacy this year. I believe you can have a happy medium in both. Both are very much needed. And in the village of Cortez, it is the last working commercial fishing village and it's a fishery. And this is how fishermen make their living and how they put food on the table for their families. Conservation is also needed as if we keep dumping toxins into our water, my kids and their kids will not have a fishery to carry on their legacy. Fishing today with my mom and my grandma was one of those days that I will never forget. 
Although there is always fun in our competition, I think my favorite part was as I'm helping my grandma catch her fish, my mom takes the boat and drives us up to the buoy, position us perfectly yep. so she can get that bait near that triple tail. This way, this way, this way. Got I'm it, got so it. proud to be a part of this legacy of fisherwomen in our family. The good news is it's never too late to start working on building a legacy that will outlive you. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next episode on Their Life, My Lens.